Hey everyone, Lanswinners here and welcome back to Craft to the Future, Craft of the Titans 2. Um, in between episodes, just all I've managed to do is breeding a little bit in the way of chickens. Uh, this stuff is working, although eventually I'm going to run out of uh, rails and all that sort of stuff. We've got plenty of, plenty of stone in there now, which is good. Hopefully once it's full, it'll just push it into the system. Um, sitting in the region of about, I think it was 16k last time I looked, uh, 21,000. So we've got almost almost 22,000 cobble in here now. Uh, so the the mine oh, here he's just back now. He's coming back quite loaded each time. Uh, it would be nice to work a way of doing the burning of the thing, but um, it's a run. I mean, I probably could go pipe out of here and into here and have it um, put lava back in, but I'm alright, I'll deal with that later. Uh, this episode I thought we'd try something a little different. It's been a lot of work, uh, a, lot of, a lot of episodes lately doing um, tech stuff, and I thought I'd start the episode by one just going to put these in here for now because they're the next two I want to um, level up. Uh, I've got a bit of stuff with jack o for some reason. Do I have any more arrows? Not really. It's alright, what about my shurikens? Okay, are you loaded? Ammo is empty. Let's head upstairs. I want to go and battle the tower that I found while I was out and about. Cool. So let's do that, and um, hopefully there's nothing nearby. This is the tower here. Uh, if you look, I just came over and put a waypoint so I could do it. Uh, we're here. I'm just going to jump straight over to the tower, and hopefully nothing kills us while we're here. Nothing. So I came over here and I ran around a few times and put a few uh, light sources down. So here we have a, a tower. And I've got a feeling it's from Armor Plus just because it's got the Armor Plus blocks on it. But it does have this thing here. Um, do you dare enter my tower of skeletal monsters? And um, yes, I do. Hey, guys. <laughs> Come on out. They say level one on them. He's got a boat. Yeah, level one. Hey. All right, let's head on in. Okay, doesn't look like there's spawners. That is cool though. Block of lava crystal, very nice. Okay, let's um see what my parkour skills are like. Pretty bad as far as I remember. Oh, well, wow. oh, there's a roof. Okay, got some stuff behind glass and <laughs> that was insta death. Just see that? That was awesome. I love it. Or insta teleport to home, I guess. Head back in and try again. Oof, can't even get up the first one. Oh. Got a new friend down there. Ah. Trap skelly. Trap skeleton. Let's break these things. Dispenser is locked. Just break it. Uh, what else have I got to plop back there? I've got a sign. Just break the chest, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't really want lava flowing everywhere, so... 
Okay. As I go down there now. Let's head up. And try and see what's above. Oop, helps if I actually hit the the oh wow, hit the jump button. Oh my gosh. Now I did say my parkour skills are terrible. Where'd he go? He left. Yes, yeah, so I really do not have skills when it comes to this sort of stuff. <laughs> Got a lot of health though. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know what I didn't... Hey buddy, what are you fighting? Is this a little bit of cheating? Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna nerd pull it up. I do do oh. Thanks, Mike. Gotta love it. Don't crash on me. Thank you. Alright. Do I try and just get here somewhere? Mm hmm. Some upstairs grunting and making noises. Ow. Not very nice. Johnny, here is Johnny. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Take that. Oh, is that all that was in this room? Oh, treasure guards, level five, and they've got all my gear. Let's go and get it back. Um. That'll do. What armor have I got? Oh, I'll put it back in. <laughs> what armor do I have? I do have a full set of like this stuff. That'll do. Let's um Go back to the tower. Now I could have gone back to my death point, but I think um, that may be a, a silly move. So I'm gonna. Um, be nice if I collected this. Do, do, do. <laughs> Oops. Should have bought a tool of some sort with me. It's alright, I'll punch it. Okay. Where is he? Can I get to my grave? Eh. Wow. All right. Stack of cobble. Let's just There he is. He's um pretty nifty. If I can Ah, I got my stuff. All right.
Hey, buddy. Ah, that's why he got me. He's got that, um, that nasty sword. Is there any more up there? Cool. Got him. Gotta get up here, it's getting night time. Some lights on. Guessing under here is is stuff. Let's just. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, pretty nifty. Turn the lights on. Grab your blocks of of um materials. So that's that's not a bad little reward. Oh, look, a block of diamond. Handy. Um. Yeah, don't need another brick fence. Or a sign. I don't think I can use my storage tablet from this distance. I can. Oh my gosh. Don't ask me why. I don't know why it works at this distance. But I'm not going to argue. Grab all the stuffs. And can I cool? All right, let's put all these things back into the system. Nice, let's jump back home. So, rest of this episode, that was just something you know. I don't go out of the, the base much. I'm normally here and, and you know, causing grief. Ooh. I have noticed that this thing has been playing up a fair bit. Um, I've been having issues with um, the, the Flux Network's points. Like this one here is supposedly disconnected. But for whatever reason, um, things, things are going a little bit strange. So, I should be allowed to use it. Apologies for that, I had to sneeze. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it thing, things are a little bit weird. Um, just occasionally it doesn't work. And I need to reconnect, so I don't know if there's a newer version perhaps. Really? I'm sure they're all connected. Just need to get it to update or something. Let's, let's try that. Yeah. Um, and that would be just because of the the chunk loading that happens from the cart while I'm out of the base. Anyway, awesome. I don't think that is meant to be connected. That needs to be rotated. Okay. Everything's broken. Everything's broken. Anyway, it is what it is. It'll it'll come back eventually. So uh, what I wanted to do, not that, because yeah, I don't want to. I'm going to go down here to some of the magic mods, and I'm going to work through this line here. So this is, I think. Um, do, 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 do one of the magic mods. It's not Thorncraft, it's something else. I forget what it's called now. Ooh, spiel. Uh, do, 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 no. Wizardry, that's the one. So we're going to do some wizardry. And um, straight up. Oh, all my laser's broken. Oh, wow, that's nasty. That one's working. What? Oop, no. Do I just need to go near them? Or do I need to just look at them? Oh boy. Whatever. I'll get to it at some point. I'll walk around and reset everything in between. Oh man. 
I didn't go far. I think it's just graphical. Things are still going, so it's not not a huge issue. The, anyway, cool. <laughs> Getting sidetracked. So what I did is um, decided to head downstairs. So I put another couple of elevators. This is where the, the nether portal was. And the stairs or the ladder is just behind this wall from, um, from there. Um, so here's, here's the nether portal. And beneath that, I've just built a big room. Just dug out a big room. We're down at Y11. And I thought we'd start our wizardry stuff down here. So in the book, it's asking us for a Spellforger's Codex. Once you find a or set up your own mana pool, throw the book into it. It will take a few seconds as particle fall from the pool. So we need a book. We're going to need a bucket. And we're going to need a book. I think it's just a regular old book. So let's grab a bucket. Pop that down and then hopefully we can just throw a book in. Got some particle effects happening. That's a good sign. Now I've never used wizardry. Whoa. That was impressive. Blew me halfway across the room. Like wings in a fountain. Coming in contact with the mana fluid to give you a few moments of levitation. Yeah, well. I'm, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's flying. Next. While you're at the mana pool, it would be opportune time to make some wisdom wood. Toss any vanilla logs into the mana pool and give it a few moments to transform into wisdom wood. This will be a key crafting ingredient going forward. Wood. Wants a stack? Have a stack. But this doesn't blow me halfway across the room as well. Let's have a look at this Spellforger's Codec. Okay, five steps becoming a wizard. Mana. We're going to learn about mana, and the book's a little bit derpy. Um, that's cool. Garbs. Naker? Naker. Structures and spell creation. So we've got some stuff to read. Is that good? Yep, 64 wisdom wood logs. We're going to get a wisdom wood door. Glass orbs. Glass orbs serve multiple purposes in wizardry. They are to the a wizard what a flask is to a scientist. Make a good amount of them. Tip. You may run into certain spells that require unicorn horns. Rumor has it, slamming into bedrock at high speeds from a 180 block drop will whisk you into a dimension where they roam free. Huh? <laughs> so I've got to build, oh, I've got a platform already, I've got to build a, a what, a death chute to bedrock? That's weird. Okay, let's see what the glass orbs take to make. Orb. Glass orbs. Is glass and a hammer. I'm not sure how much glass I have. Things have all moved around too, by the way. Uh, glass. Let's have a look. Glass. I don't have a lot of glass in here. I should have a bit of sand. Let's, um, <coughs> excuse me, go up here. What have I got in the way of glass? They are there, you can see the tooltip showing it. It just hasn't updated. I've got 15 glass, so you know what? Um, some of you, some, some of you. These guys still have all their power? Yeah, see that? The power thing is working fine. It's just graphical. It, it's a graphical bug. If I probably find if I um, no, nope. maybe if I relog, it'll come back. 
see what happens when I next log in. So I'm going to need some of these guys. I need the hammer. I'll grab both of them. You and glass. Okay, so how many did it want me to make? 38, because 38 is just a number. <laughs> Don't ask me why it's 38. Um, I am going to need more glass, though, because it requires two per. Glass should be that one. It's not showing the locked thing. It's not showing anything. Weird. I went and cleaned out a lot of the eggs too. I've got Signalum now. So I'm just waiting for a... There he is. Signalum chicken. Problem is all the chickens are missing. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, definitely need to relog. Still processing well. Got some cinnabar there I might take and just pop in there. Almost done. Okay. So I've got four. I need another 34. Let's see if that's enough. Probably not. Well, oh, maybe. Hammer. Let's just do that. 38 orbs. 24 unicorn horns. Uh, dropping a glass orb into a mana pool and letting it sit for a moment will turn it into a mana orb. You will need a lot of these for your upcoming experimentations. So, what is it one? One. Will it soak up the mana? Today. That doesn't seem to soak up the mana either. Which is cool. So there's a mana rock. We get 32 nether quartz for it. Okay. Liquid mana pools can be further evolved into a magical sludge called Nacro. Nacro. This is done by dropping a gold nugget into a source block of the mana. You will know when the process is complete as the liquid will turn. Milky white. Oh, excuse me for uh, the bit of a yawn there. I do apologise. Uh, let's grab one of these. Um, let's put some stuff away. They can, they can go. All right. We have a bucket of the white stuff. Tier 2 weapon grab bag. Very nice. Maker pearls are magical beads that are used in the crafting of your spells. The better the quality, the more potent the spell. The most common type of maker, Acra, pearl will be a little underdone or overdone as perfecting the cooking process for pearls can be tough. To cook a pearl, drop a glass orb into a naker pool and let it sit. The longer it sits, the more cooked it will be. Say mana orb, right? What did it say? Um, oh, just a glass orb. Okay, well, let's get that out of there. I don't know what that stuff does to me. It's in there. Okay. And we're going to get granite. Really? You're going to give me a piece of granite? Do I just need... Can I drop it back in? Okay. Let's check this bag. An ender dragon bow. 
That's enough. Now, whatever. Let's that's request anyway. Let's go claim back. A common ingredient in the crafting of spells is devil dust. This is created by throwing a block of redstone into fire. You can throw a whole stack into fire to cook multiple at once. Block of redstone. Got 13. Um. Let's. I don't know. It only goes up by one anyway. Let's go to sixty-four. And I'm going to need the oldie flint and steel. And I guess. I don't know how long it takes. Don't know if I was meant to burn a particular thing or. Did I get it? Oh, I got heaps of it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I guess it just, I don't know how much I was meant to get. Whoops. I got a ton. So I'm guessing maybe one gives you nine. That's alright. We've, we've, we've got plenty of that stuff. Magical wood chicken, already got one. Mana battery stores mana to be used in crafting recipes. They are created by placing soul sand, a diamond and devil dust into a 3x3 three three pool of mana. Pool must be three by three of source blocks and the mana will be consumed in the process. Okay. So this is obviously part of the reason why I needed to bring the drum. There's nine. So what did I want? Soul Sand, Diamond, Devil Dust. Okay. Soul. A Diamond. I don't know how much Devil Dust, but we'll find out. Bubbles are happening. Yep, blew me across the room again. And got a mana battery. Got a hundred biffs for that. Magician's work table. Every good wizard needs a place to write the spells. Magician's work table will be yours. Inside the GUI you will notice three sections of icon at the left. These represent the traits of your spell. The shape, the effect, and the event. Magician's work table. Uh, so a book, some slabs. Let's clear this out. I'm guessing slabs are just normal. Nope, I'm guessing we can make planks. Slabs, let's put that away. And then we should be able to make this. Oh, need more planks. Uh, you go in the system and you make this. One of them. Very nice. Okay, put things away. Okay. Let's let's deal with this. Let's put the table here. Cool. Wow. Lots of stuff I'm going to have to read up on now. 
I do believe I am at a wrapping up point now, so I am going to say goodbye here. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm going to do some reading uh, on how to use this magician's uh, this wizardry stuff. I plan on you doing wizardry on like half the room and maybe thorncraft in the other half of the room. Uh, we've done a few quests here. I'm going to claim the staff. I've got a few to go. Uh, we should be able to knock these out in the next episode. Maybe we'll start down here. But we do need to get into some draconic evolution at some point because this is a uh, another run of things to do uh, this stuff requires me to go to another planet uh, which means i'll need to do the rocketry stuff uh, and i still haven't done mechanism so we've got a bunch of stuff left to do but for now thank you all for watching comments down below hope you enjoyed the episode and i'll see you next time bye now